So tonight we are following up on our I-Team investigation. Two weeks after our explosive investigation exposing the Buffalo Bishop's handling of sex abuse allegations, New York State is now stepping in. Subpoenas have been issued to every diocese now in the state. And for the first time today, the Erie County District Attorney is speaking with our I-Team Chief Investigator, Charlie Specht. Charlie? That's right. District Attorney John Flynn today spoke for the first time since details of a state investigation into the Catholic Church were released on Thursday. Now, Flynn says he may be a part of that investigation, but he won't immediately convene a grand jury of his own and will instead wait to see what evidence the AG is able to collect. Now, the AG has already issued subpoenas, as you mentioned there, to all eight Catholic dioceses throughout the state, including the Diocese of Buffalo, where more than 80 priests on your screen here have been accused of sexual misconduct and others, and our reports rather, have described a pattern of returning those same priests to active ministry after allegations of sexual abuse. If it leads to perhaps the necessity of, uh, you know, convening a, grand, a criminal grand jury or doing a criminal investigation, then we will work together on that as well. We haven't, we haven't finalized the, the uh, logistics of that yet. You know, we will if it comes, if it comes to that. But right now, I have offered my services to the Attorney General's office. If they need any help in reviewing the documents that they get as part of the subpoenas that they're issuing out here, I, my, my people stand willing and ready to help. Flynn said it would be easier for him to prosecute priests or bishops if the laws in New York were different. He urged state legislators in Albany to pass the Child Victims Act this coming session. And we also asked a spokeswoman for the Attorney General what exactly a civil investigation entails and whether victims can expect a report similar to the one issued in Pennsylvania by that Attorney General. Spokeswoman for the New York Attorney General did not comment, citing an ongoing investigation. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you.